Moore's got that leg. And coming close to a takedown, and he's going to get a takedown, going to get two points here with six seconds left. So a real nice job by Jake Moore scoring right at the end of this first period. Here you see him get that one leg, fight for control, get the leverage, and, and bring down Taylor. Okay. And, uh, great job getting the leg. Now you can see him working the half there. And Stubbs has got Leak in a tight spot. Stubbs has now really now got to be the control of the upper part. He doesn't lose control here. And these two guys have, as little guys coming in, have a lot of experience, probably both of them. Great the double. Level. It's the arm here. He can dump him over and get him on his back. He's got him there. Oh, wow. He, and he's taking away the leverage. He's got Leak in a tight spot. So chances are he's just going to collect back points like you yep. saw. And if he gets, he got the pin. And Kevin Stubbs gets the pin at the minute and 27 second mark of the third period to extend Sterling's lead to 15 to nothing. Great job there by Kevin Stubbs, and we're gonna get a look at it. Really energized. Brandon so, Sola, is, he's like a little dark knight, man. He's, he's, he's a quiet dude, and he gets, um, if you haven't. No, we haven't, so. No. So uh, his assistant is Jeff Euler. Jeff Euler is, uh, he also coaches baseball, baseball for yep. freshman. Um, another takedown there for Soli here. You saw both teams put up two wrestlers. So they're really looking at matchups. They're counting. Our official tonight, do we have his name? He's doing a pretty good job, so keeping it pretty clean. I don't. We'll call 904. Job. I would say any point counts. Yes, sir. So he's... Sit on that. Come on. Hold the arm. All right. Ten seconds left. Five seconds left. No. And with one second left, Brian Cole gets the two points to move up six to five. Yeah, that's a tough one for Trey Potts, but you see an outstanding job by Brian Cole. You can hear the, the Jim Arup, the Collinswood fans knew where that was at. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, so there's a swing of three points. Nine and four, I guess. Pretty good record against this guy. Who, who do we say it is? Uh, Plots. Yeah, Plots. Ten and ten wrestler. Get your hips up. And Lewis has got Greg right now it's big in a tight big spot. Big points here. If he can get Greg's that leg, turn so he's got to get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where you want to get control of the leg and with the upper body. And Lewis has got him turning around. Greg really fighting hard. He's strong. squeeze out of this. This young man's pretty strong. Saved by the bell there. And I, I was looking at Greg looking like he was exhausted but came back so he got to get points up. And, and went ahead. 6-5 right now and with nine seconds left it looks like that's how we're going to end this period. Although, oh, okay. No, yeah, I was wrong. It looks like we got two points there for Greg to extend his lead to eight to five, so. Greg is looking to win this. Lewis is, takes Greg down, but Greg's got Lewis turned around. Lewis going for the legs. Greg's got Lewis turned over. He's got him in a tight spot right now. And Greg gets the pin. And he's got Collinswood back in this match at 126. Look at it in the replay. And really got in full control of the upper part of the body of Larry Lewis and comes away with a big pin to narrow.
Chris Saul, though, right now. Almost on his back, Saul sort of fighting hard and, and turned himself around, but boy, Clark's really working the upper part of his body, and Clark comes away with the first period pin at the 107 mark, and Collingswood's got themselves right back in this match at 19 to 15, so Strong initially holding a 19 to nothing lead, and that has Kitchell around, almost there. And then now Kitchell's got Brandon Grace in a tight spot right here. Grace really fighting hard with Kitchell in control of the upper part of the body. And Kitchell comes away with a pin in the second period at the 52nd mark at 138 to put Collinswood ahead 21 to 19. Chris Nagel having another outstanding year coming in at 13 and three. And they definitely need a pin here. Sterling does. He's really working the upper part of the body of Rogers. Nagel in control. And he's got Rogers in a tight spot right here. And really in control of the upper part of the body. And Chris Nagel gets the early pin at the 121 mark of the first period to put Sterling back on top, 25 to 21. So just an outstanding match, John. A lot of back and forth action here. And a gap to six to two favor Chris Ola. And, and if you, Right now, what Sterling needs to do is hope not get pinned as much, but and Barber fighting back, getting almost in control. Ola right there, but not before Ola. Ola there a little bit, because the yeah. calls went on three straight pins. It's possible that, you know, those could be mapped out a little bit by the coach. Yeah you know, doesn't have the experience maybe as this guy. And if you're Chris Nagel, or if you're at, you're at David Barber right now, you want to avoid, well, you got, unfortunately got the pin. Dave wrestled tough, but came up short. The official yeah. is not messing around. As soon as you touch, that's it. Yeah, that was a quick one. Uh, it, great shot. We just couldn't get him. Here we go. Now take him down slow. Gave him the two. There we go. Good move that you talked about by Coach O'Donnell because I think you want to see Jacor up on his feet shooting down like he did right there. Jacor has been wrestling. You would think he, he would be like a senior. Or Great like job, Jacor. And Jacor. Another two. McPherson is going to get two more to go ahead. Four to two. Boy, just doing a okay. great job. Head, heading towards the minute mark, and Kitchell gets so control of that leg. Ooh, but as McPherson's been doing, he fights it off. Hold on to it. Just hold on to it. Now, this is where he probably has no idea what to do. Now, he can't and, get, lose it. And McPherson's in, in control. If I watch, he doesn't get the tables turned on him in that situation. But McPherson he got gets... Hand, he lost the hand. He got the two. I think now Jeremiah Davis' is family, I'm not sure. I, I know he has an older brother. They're a wrestling like family. Yeah, he, he wrestled for Gateway. His brother was a Gateway okay. wrestler. Oh, Alexis got Davis in a tight spot. Boy, this could be a big one for Collinswood. And that's a big pin by John Lex over Jeremiah Davis. And just like that, Collinswood storms back to take the lead, 33 to 28. And we're looking at this on the replay. Lex got in full control of the upper part of the body going against Donnie Hart at 14 and seven. So two which you would think would be evenly matched wrestlers at 195, and Hart starts it Take off down, with man. a takedown to get two points. They've not had anything and known that they had to earn it here, or maybe yeah. they, on paper, they think they got it here.